Welcome to day 14 of 30 Days of Sketches. My name is Emily, and you found Emily's Paper Caper, where I love to scrapbook, junk journal, rubber stamp, and make cards. Today I'm working with six photos and a sketch by Brandy Robinson. Here's the sketch. It's a wonderful two-page sketch. And I'll link to Brandy Robinson's Instagram down in the description. Her Instagram handle is crazy for scrapbooking. Our host of 30 Days of Sketches is Christy of Christy's Beautiful Life. And I will link to her down in the description along with a YouTube playlist. There are a lot of YouTube creators making content based on these sketches and it is fun to see all the inspiration that's out there. Another place you can find inspiration is on Facebook. There's a Facebook group for 30 Days of Sketches and if you're playing along with the sketches, you can share your take on this sketch there. Back in March, I went to a crop at a place called The Barn in Goodfield, Illinois. It's a wonderful venue. You can look it up online. I will put a link to it down in the description. And we took some photos there. I've got a couple friends that I didn't get permission from yet, so I've just kind of covered their faces. But I have six photos taken at the event. The event was so creative. It was She Can Craft. They're going to have another event next March, and I'm already signing up for it now. If you're interested in coming along, we had all kinds of space, and I took some pictures of our group and our table set up. Erin went upstairs and looked down and took this picture of me scrapbooking to kind of show the table space and things. But the, the layout kind of calls for three photos on, on a photo mat. So I just trimmed a couple of my photos down so that it would fit across the 12 by 12. And then on the left hand side, there's three photos. And I took a picture of the venue because it's just such a beautiful venue. And then they're so creative. They had signature drinks for just for crafters. The Crafters Paradise, which was coconut rum, cranberry juice, and orange juice. The Bob Ross was a blue margarita. The Modge Podge mudslide was vodka, Bailey's, Kahlua, and cream. And then the corner rounder, amaretto, sweet and sour, and OJ. The host, Abby Reels, had as a quote here, crafting is better with cocktails. And that kind of just explains the personality of the event and it was a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and set the photos aside for now and we'll get the backgrounds ready to go. I picked some papers that have been in my stash for quite some time. This is a 2015 Moxie paper called Queen of the Crop and it's a cut apart. So I'm gonna use this border because I think it's so cute. It says paper, love stickers, love tape, love bling, love scissors, love ink, love flowers. I think it's super cute. And then I want to also use Queen of the Crop because I think that is super cute. I can even cut out one of these crowns and add it to my picture. <laughs> That'll be fun. And I will use the journal spot here to tell about the event, the dates, and the location. Remember when you're journaling, if you're not really getting into telling a story, focus on the who, what, when, where. And then if you have time, add the why.
I am a fan of gingham paper, so I've got some purple gingham. And the background of the sketch kind of has some nice papers in the background. I'm going to go ahead and get those adhered, and then we'll put the photos down. I thought about using some barn or farm themed papers for this layout, but I decided that I had had this scrapbook related cut apart page that I really wanted to use. So that's what we're doing. The nice thing about gingham paper is it's got this grid on it, so you should be able to get things on straight. But do you think I did? Nope, I did not. <laughs> All right, that can go there. Let's just kind of set things out. I'm going to give myself a crown, and we'll put queen of the crop above me. Got a space for journaling. I think it fits up here nicely. I like the idea of the border here. And I need a page title. I'm going to make the page title Keep Calm and Scrapbook On. I have been scrapbooking for, it's probably been at least 25 years, and someplace I have a scrapbook about scrapbooking. <laughs> and I need to add this layout to that scrapbook because over the years we've attended different events and when I scrapbook about those, I try to put, I try to put those into the scrapbook about scrapbooking. Let me know what you think of this layout. I'd love to hear from you. It makes my day to read your comments and answer your questions. Keep on scrapping and paper crafting, everyone. Mm -hmm.